what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Talking down on black women because you've been emotionally injured by one or a few will not help your plight with future black women or any women. Accept the role you played and burn the baggage. If you can't shake it alone, counseling may be needed. I posted that to Instagram on yesterday and it caused an uproar with some men. I say some men because most of them got it. Now, here's the deal, fam. I'll say this straight out the gate. Some dudes have a big problem communicating with women. They have a lot of problems with women because they simply don't understand women and they don't even try to understand women. I know that women can be complex and there are times when women just can't figure out what it is they want and their, their wants and desires change from day to day. But that's part of what a woman is. You know, just like a man got his ways. It's just what a man is. Now, if you want to be with a man, you adjust. If you want to be with a woman, you adjust. But tearing her down and tearing women down in general is not going to get you anywhere. You get more bees with honey than you do vinegar. This is what I'm trying to tell you, fam. I got it. I got it, fellas. It's a double standard. I get it. Some of y'all say, well, man, you know, trying to get along with them and you talking, man, man, you sipping, you sipping. Let me tell you something, homie. You can't find a woman on this planet that would call me a simp. You won't find one woman that I've ever been involved with that would call me a simp, a trick, a lame, any of those type of names. You won't find them because that ain't me. Now, you're emotionally injured to even try to label me something like that. Because you don't know me like that, bro. That's not even in my DNA, it's not a part of my history, my record, nothing. There's no documentation nowhere out there that would tell you that Willie D is a simp. No, Willie D understands women. Willie D is all man. And I'm here to tell you, some of y'all been raised wrong. I was raised wrong too, but I figured it out along the way. I figured it out through trial and error. A lot of dudes that I grew up with that were older than me, they gave me bad information. At some point, fam, you got to grow. There's a, growth means something to me. I get depressed if I feel like I'm repeating the same behavior, if I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again and I'm not getting the results I want. I feel depressed. I feel a sense of, of loss. You know, I cannot continue to do the same thing and, and expect different results. I try to grow. Every year, I want to be a better man than I was the previous year. I want to grow. I want to see growth. I want to see uh, social growth as well as financial growth. Some of y'all just want to see financial growth and you think you got it, the rest of it figured out. The rest of it will handle itself. That ain't how it works. See, these relationships, it doesn't matter if it's a platonic race relationship. It doesn't matter if the relationship is romantic. It doesn't matter if it's a business relationship or otherwise, relationships about, are about effective communication. All relationships come down to effective communication. Wars have been started because of lack of effective communication. 
Wars have been prevented because of effective communication. We're walking on people right now because of lack of effective communication. Don't know how to talk to people. Don't know how to communicate during conflict. So people snap, people get killed. Police out here killing people right now because they don't have good communication skills. So when somebody does something that they don't like, any little thing, don't follow their command, they snap, lose it, pull out a gun, boom, shoot people. Man, what I'm trying to say is, it's gonna be to our advantage to get along with women, if that's what you like. If you like women, you know, I think it's a good idea to try to get along with them. Now, getting along don't mean kissing ass. See, that's what some of y'all miss, miss it up at. Y'all be thinking like, oh, man, you wanna, you, you man, I ain't doing that for me. Man, you simping, you do. Why, why are those dudes always the ones who are by themselves? And, they, and if, if they were happy, they wouldn't complain as much, right? They wouldn't be so preoccupied with women and what women are doing and talking about women. But they constantly talk about women and down women, yet they say that they hate them. They hate them. They, 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 they're constantly disparaging them. But then they want some sex. See, I'm not built like, like if I don't like something, I don't like it, period. If I don't like someone, a person, I don't like them, period. Just like dudes be looking at Stacey Dash and other women who are buck dancers, tap dancers, and they be like, man, I, man, I know she a coon, but I hit, I hit. Not me. Couldn't even get me hard. I couldn't get excited because I know what she about. She's a detriment to our community. She's a mole. She's a paid agent. Why would I get excited for somebody like that? See, that's the problem. See, a lot of y'all get caught up in the fat ass and the cute face. And this is why most of these problems occur. Because you ain't took the time out to vet this woman and say, you know what? That's a good woman. You know, that's a good girl, you know. I like what she stands for. She got good values. She got a good moral compass. I think I can procreate with her. She got a good work ethic. You don't do all that. All you look, fat ass, boom, 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 go right for it, go right in. Fat ass, cute face, go right in. And then, oh man, these women, these bitches, these hoes, this is a, see, see? Set yourself up for failure. You got to vet these women. Just like these women got to vet men. Now, dudes are always talking. Every time I start talking about what us guys need to do, some dude invariably start talking about, well, women too. Well, that goes both ways. Look, man, what's understood ain't got to be said. Why do y'all constantly compare yourselves to women? I don't want to compare to my, myself to a woman in no regard. We are two different species as far as I'm concerned. Women have their qualities. They are women qualities. They are feminine qualities. Men have their qualities. They are masculine qualities. I'm cool with that. Okay, there are double standards. That's the way life is. Some double standards benefit men. Some double standards benefit women. For all that women go through with their bodies to bring life, for all that they go through, period, just being a woman with their bodies, the way that they're under attack, they have to be very careful. They're, the way that they're literally hunted daily. Man, they ain't got no problem giving a little bit more, sacrificing a little more. 
put a smile on her face. I don't have a problem with that. And guess what? I have great relationships with women. Great. Any woman that I've ever been with, I still have a good relationship with her. Okay, yeah, we, what we fell out, it didn't work out. But the maturity in us allowed us to remain friends and be respectful toward one another. See, a lot of y'all, man, a lot of us out here, we're just immature, man. We're not ready for being in a relationship, let alone having children. We're just not ready because we don't know how to communicate. And if you don't know how to communicate and you're talking about having kids, how in the hell, what can you give your child if you don't even know how to communicate? If you don't know how to deal with conflict resolution, you don't even know what it means. How can you give it to your child? You're talking about one of the most important jobs in the world. The most important job in the world, in my, as far as I'm concerned, raising a human being. And you don't have the tools. And then you hop on social media and talk reckless. And the minute, the moment someone talks about being in a harmonious relationship with women, meeting a woman halfway, correcting our own behavior, you go into attack mode, get emotional. But then want to beat your chest like a man. See, some of y'all tell on yourselves, you're the same ones who when a woman breaks up with you, lose it. Go get a gun, want to shoot the woman, her mama, her daddy, her sister, brother, the dog. Then shoot yourself. Just straight up clowning. You don't have the tools, man. It's all right. It's all right to admit it. If you don't have the tools, it's all right. You know, I know I'm being a little abrasive with my verbiage right now, but, you know, sometimes that's what it takes. You know, if you want a kind, kinder, gentler person to talk to, you know, hey, man, get yourself a therapist. Some of you guys need therapists, man. Y'all need therapy. And it's okay. You know, we're living in a time right now where, where there is not any shame really associated with uh, mental health. Get yourself together, man. Talk to somebody. It's okay. You're not going to win a war against women. You're not going to win a war against women. You got to understand when you have teammates. See, some people get on a team and they start playing all by themselves. They, they play basketball. They're playing five on five and they're dribbling the ball. They want to take the ball out, pass it to themselves, grab the ball, shoot it from half court, every shot. Just do whatever they want to. Don't pass the ball at all. Women are not your enemy. Okay, you've been emotionally injured by one or two or three or 10 or 20. That's billions of women in the world. How can you say that is all? And there are plenty of good ones. Sometimes it's not the woman. Sometimes it's you. Maybe, just maybe, if you're having all these issues with women, maybe it's not the woman. Maybe it's you. Now I know, here y'all go again. But man, when you gonna start making these women take some responsibility? Listen, man, it ain't my business to tell women. It ain't my business to coach women. It ain't my business to check women. Women check women. See, if I try to tell a woman something, she's just going to look at it like, oh man, you got an ulterior motive. You're a man, of course you'll say that. So it's useless for me to say all of this stuff. It's useless for me to try to correct a woman. 
all I can tell a woman is that what I'm going to do and what I'm about. I could tell men. And as a man, you can look at me man to man. And if you respect it, you receive it. If you don't, go do something different. I'm not trying to make you do anything. I'm just giving you the information. If you want to be hard-headed and not accept it, do that. But I can guarantee you, if you don't follow my advice, that you are going to have major difficulty in your relationship with women. That's just how it goes. I'm not an expert, but I've studied this shit, bro. I understand women. I respect women. I love women. I know it's scandalous women out there, just like it's scandalous men out there. But at some point in your life, you have to take responsibility for your role in how you pick women in the first place. If you go out there and pick a scandalous woman, you got to take some of the responsibility for yourself. You can't put it all on women. <laughs> you got to accept some of that responsibility, especially if you keep on picking the wrong type. In that regard, maybe it's not the women. Maybe it's you. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.